What is up teachers on fire today i want to show you how to set up a google form so that it accepts only images and you can do it in a secure way so that it identifies every uploader and every file by uploader here we go of course our first stop is in google drive and you know the drill here we're going to hit new and google forms we're going to create a new google form now right away i like to set the title and so let's call this title let's celebrate our furry friends. Now notice something cool is as soon as I click on the file name and we always want to give our files a file name, right kids? Uh, it is going to guess that I want the same title. And yes, that is exactly right. Over here in settings, very important. We want to go to responses and we need to slide this slider, collect email addresses. One of the most important things in the whole process here, we want to make sure that every responder is ID'd by Google. This one is not necessary, but I like to set it to always just to give kids a, a receipt of whatever they did submit. And I sort of do that by habit, no matter what kind of Google form I am using. And then down here, this is important to me as well, because let's face it, some kids, some middle schoolers will get a little excited here with the process and the opportunity to share photos with you and they will start spamming and doing all kinds of crazy things. So we're going to limit them to one response. They've got to choose carefully. You might even include that warning in the Google form information. Let's go back to the questions now and the all important part. You could ask for first name, so we'll put your first name and you could even add homeroom or other information if you so desire, but I'm going to move past that, make that question required, make it a little bit friendlier. And now the all important, submit a picture of your furry, of your furry friend. Now, you may be familiar with Google Forms, but only in in terms of text responses, multiple choice, uh, other kinds of responses. Today, I'm going to show you right here, you can select File Upload. And we're going to select a couple more options to even fine tune this just a little bit more. Allow only specific file types. Now, we're going to select Image. We don't want an animation, a video, a PDF, nothing else just a JPG or PNG. That's very important. And because some kids may have some furry friend, may have more than one furry friend at home, we're going to allow them to upload up to five, up to five. Okay. More than five. You've got a menagerie, your Dr. Doolittle. It's too many. It's too many. Now, maximum file size. It's really unlikely that they've got an image that is larger than 10 megabytes. If you wanted to, you can increase that to hundred megabytes, but again, very, very unlikely. That is it. Now, if you are ready to share your Google form, I'm sure you've done this before. It works best in Google Classroom if you just select the Google form from inside Classroom, and I can show that to you in a moment. But in this context, I'm going to select link, shorten URL, and now, of course, I can just copy that link and use it wherever I am, at an LMS, in an email, in a newsletter, uh, lots of different places that can be shared. Maybe a school app, lots of different ways that can be shared. Now let's take a quick look at Google Classroom and see what this looks like over there. All right, now I'm in my Teachers on Fire Google Classroom and I want to give my students an assignment to upload an image of a furry friend. So how do I do that? I'm going to go to Classwork and I'm going to create an assignment and I'll use the same title. Yes, thank you, Google Classroom. Now here's the key that I wanted to show you, add Google Drive file. We're not going to add the link here. We're going to add the form from our Google Drive. And that is more important, frankly, when you're dealing with a quiz, because if you select the quiz this way, it will actually automatically import the results from the quiz. That doesn't really apply when it comes to this kind of a Google form, but it's just helpful to be in this habit of inserting a Google form by selecting within the Google Drive. I'm going to give my class here two weeks to respond to this one. We're going to call it general assignments. And if we want, we can add an emoji. Now, whatever laptop or device you happen to be using, there should always be a, a hotkey for emojis. So I'm going to add a puppy emoji and maybe a cat. If there is, yes, there is a cat emoji as well. I'll use that one, why not? And uh, there we go, we are ready to post this. Let's do it now. Now that will show up in the Google Classroom stream. 
And so my students will get a look at that and hopefully they will use the Google form there. Well, educator, that is it for today. If this video was helpful at all, would you like the video? Comment below and subscribe to the Teachers on Fire channel here on YouTube. That would add so much fuel to my fire and I would be so grateful for your support. If you're still in the trenches, giving it your best for students everywhere, take care of yourself, share an encouraging message to lift up a colleague and keep that fire for learning according to Brighton.